<clears throat> hey guys so basically I'm still sick but I've got my soup here which my cats keep trying to steal I thought it would be fun to give this jacket a second look particularly particularly because um, I ordered from studsandspikes.com and my order came in and I have all these new studs and spikes so I want to go in on this jacket I have a few patches too so this is what we're working with so far something that I realized about this jacket is it's actually a pretty awkward jacket for winter time because like it's short like I don't really wear high-waisted pants I don't own any high-waisted pants um, and this is just what it looks like with like a normal t-shirt, which is pretty awkward. Um, you would have to like tie the shirt up like this or something and then wear like, I don't know. I mean, I could just leave some skin exposed, but I live in Michigan. This ain't no California winter. This is a Michigan winter, so I can't really have skin exposed over here. So... This is a summer jacket, really. So I'm concerned that I won't really wear it that much. And if I put a lot of effort into it, then that kind of sucks if I never wear it. But, you know, whatever. Worst comes to worst, it's just a practice jacket for me. First of all, I'm sorry about the lighting. I know it's kind of shit. Um, I don't want to get my ring light out because it's so bright outside. I don't know if I'm gonna like have too much light or whatever But anyways, okay, so This is what I ordered from studsandspikes.com. I have These um, standard silver pyramid studs A um, hundred of those and then I have these flat circle studs a hundred of those and then I have these little spikes. I have only 20 of these, but they're like, they're somewhat similar to, to these. They're a little bit smaller, but that's okay. And then I have the few extras from last time. I think there's only like seven or eight in there. And then this I got for Pokin because I'm smart and I wanted to do it right this time. So when I do the spikes, I will be using this. So let's go for it. Um, I am going to set you guys right here. Let's just continue down this seam on the sleeve. Um, yeah. Let's try my new tool. Whatever this is called, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so you just like do a little poke, right? Okay. I'm scared. Poke. Where did the hole go? I lost it. Okay, so that was really difficult, but um, I finally finished. I just went with the spikes down into the armpit area and back up on the other side, on each side. And this tool right here was actually a lot harder to work with than I expected. Um, I imagine that it's more meant for leather uh, because when you use it on denim, um, you're not really like breaking the threads, you're just poking a hole through. So when you take this thing back out, the threads start to like overlap again and it's difficult to push the screw through. Um, that's my experience. Maybe I'm just doing this wrong, but I imagine that's why it was so difficult. But whatever, um, I'm all done with the spikes. So, yeah, I have no spikes left. We're all done with the spikes. Let's move on to the studs. What I want to do is, I want to see this area right here and this area right here. I think I just want to absolutely cover in studs. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to do 
These ones are these ones. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with the circle ones. First of all, okay, so sorry about the cat hair, but I'm just showing you what this little thing looks like. Um, it's just this little stud. This little stud, and then in the back, it's just these two little things. So I'm pretty sure what you do is you just poke it through the fabric, literally just pushed it through, and then on the other side, you've got the little spiky boys sticking out back here and I don't think you can really move them down with your fingers that easily so I'm gonna go grab like a tweezers okay there we go that worked nicely okay so then I'm just gonna repeat um, I think since I have a hundred of these I'm just gonna like kind of go in and put them like pretty close to each other like this and if I run out I guess I'll just have to order more or something I don't know I don't want to like figure out how many I'll need before I start because I'm just like not that type of person I just like go into things and like don't plan for them ever Well, that's not even, <laughs> but I mean, we don't care about being perfect and even in this house. Um, so I thought maybe I could get a little bit creative. Um, I have this backpack here um, that I DIY'd with this little patch and I'm not super happy with this backpack at all like it kind of just looks whatever and I kind of want to get a new one anyways so I was thinking I could take this patch off so I got this off the backpack and I think I'm honestly just gonna sew it um, right here and then I'll continue along with um, the studs but I'll just go around it and sort of frame it because um, honestly like there's no way I'm finishing this whole panel of just studs and I think this will look cute anyway so yeah okay y'all it's been hours the sun is long gone my fingers really hurt this is pretty much what I got done um, this little patch up here we've got the patch and then we've got the studs all around it and yeah that's that's that so far on um, the other side is just blank but uh yeah this took a lot longer than i thought and was a lot of effort but um i think it looks really cool and i don't know what i'm gonna do on the other side because i'm pretty much out of these like these circle studs but yeah i mean this is so dirty <laughs> Uh, my cats were like playing around with this but yeah I'm really liking it so far um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it good for today so I will definitely be making another part to this video pretty soon probably because I'm really having fun working on this jacket so stay tuned for that so stay tuned for that and um, thank you guys for watching I hope these uh, jacket videos are interesting to you. Um, I'm gonna keep making them because I want to document my process, but I also hope that you guys are liking them. And yeah, um, tell me if you have any ideas for my jacket, anything you think I should do, and I'm gonna call it good. I'm so tired. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.